Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Robothot 0 to Hero series C, C++ coding in Arduino Mega. All right guys, we are on lesson number 17 and I am going to show you serial read function, right? Now, what is a serial read function? The serial read function in Arduino reads the incoming serial data, okay? The INT data type, it's one of the data type. I am going to talk about data types in the upcoming lessons. There are several number amounts of uh, data types available in C, C++, which is used in Arduino. But for now, INT is the data type which is used here, right? It returns the first data byte of the arriving serial data. You need to understand this, right? It also returns minus one when no data is available on the serial port, okay? Minus one. The syntax used in the Arduino programming is serial dot read, okay? With a close parenthesis, open parenthesis and a close parenthesis, wherein the serial uh, stands for what it signifies is the serial port as an object, right? So the serial port here, the data flows from your USB, uh, it, it, the incoming and the outgoing from both, right? So that is defined as an object, okay? That is how it works. The serial, as soon as you type serial, the color changes, right? And dot available, dot read, dot, you know, uh, whatever the functions you are trying to use. The data is stored in the form of bytes, okay? wherein one byte is equal to eight bits. This is how it has been designed. Now, let me write some code for you to clarify and explain how the serial dot available function is used to get the available number of bytes if it is greater than zero. It's similar to the previous lesson, but I want to show you repeat the same similar stuff again so that you understand how the serial read function will read the data from data byte and print a message if the data is received. All right, guys. So let me open up my Arduino IDE and let's do some coding out here. All right. So this is my IDE. Let me just make it a little bigger. All right. So let's do one thing. INT arriving data byte arriving data byte you can name anything guys i'm just putting this as a naming convention for me and you to understand what we are trying to do you can say int uh, my data you know anything you can you can put equals to zero so what we are trying to do is we are trying to initialize the incoming serial byte and then we will get into white setup void setup with an open parenthesis and a close parenthesis and then we need to open a curly bracket okay this is very important and we will start with serial dot begin okay at the rate of 9600 bar rate so basically 9600 is the data rate in bits per second all right and we have closed the parenthesis, the curly parenthesis already. Let's get into the next indentation, the next line, which is your void loop. All right. You will get into the void loop and then open parenthesis. This is a function. So again, you got to open the parenthesis and close the parenthesis. All right. So the loop function, which basically executes repeatedly. And then let's open a curly bracket here and then we will get into the if statement so if open parenthesis serial dot available open parenthesis close parenthesis and again if it is available then if it is greater than zero all right now what it will only send the data when the received data is greater than zero it's almost same like the previous one right and then what we will do, we will have to open the bracket here, open the curly bracket. Okay, now arriving data byte equals serial dot read. Okay, open parenthesis, close parenthesis. And then what we need to do, serial dot read. 
so it will basically read the incoming or arriving data byte okay now serial dot print so we will print any data all right say hello world <coughs> hello world how are avengers doing like this anything you can cook any stories all right i am just going to close this and now end with a semicolon now serial dot print line ln what we need to print we need to print arriving data byte arriving data byte comma the decimal if it is greater than 0 so dec and semicolon here the dec means the decimal all right now let's compile this program and see what happens compiling sketch i hope there are no errors Oops, the indentation. Oh, yeah. I am supposed to put another curly bracket to close the overall block. There you go. Let's compile again. Excellent. No error. Now let me upload. I am uploading and you can see a blinking LED. Alright, there you go. It's uploaded. Now let me open the terminal. All right. Now this is the terminal. Now let me try to input some number greater than zero, which is one. And let's send. And it says, hello world, how are Avengers doing? Right, so now I hope you understand how the serial dot read function works guys. So basically uh, you you are setting up the INT as arriving data byte here and then getting into the white setup, right? So that is a one time setup for serial dot begin at speed with a speed of 9600 baud rate. All right, then you are getting into the control statement that is the white loop wherein you are saying that if serial dot available that function is available greater than zero anything greater than zero and then coming to the next block which is arriving data byte equal to serial dot read you are reading that particular data greater than zero and then you will initiate another command that is serial dot print all right and what you're printing anything what you put within that function right any text any string right so that is how this works i hope you understand and this is clear guys if you do not understand do leave a comment below and i will try to explain you this session this particular series of lessons are going to be purely for a non-technical guys who are very interested to get into c c plus plus programming and over a period of time get into robotics field all right guys so i will see you soon in the next lesson goodbye then